Hey guys, welcome to ModStack. I, I couldn't think of anything more fun than messing around with this old compact Rosario. You could just seen the specs there. Horrible, right? Even worse, it's locked up to Windows Vista's admin passwords. So I'm just going to clean this up. We're going to see if we can get any kind of performance out of it. Probably not a whole lot of benchmarking. Come on, guys. It's an old compact. You really need to see that. Uh, stick around. Right here, I'm just going to break it down and clean it real good and um, try to clean up some of the spaghetti mess of the wires and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to clean the thermal paste off of the dual core AMD and uh, clean that dirty fan right there. Oh, that's disgusting. And that is a thermal nightmare. This is how this always happens to me. I was just going to clean this up, re-thermal paste it and all that. Put a new operating system on it and try to flip it for a couple dollars. But this is where it gets me. I pull off the front cover. I notice all these scratches and this ugly sticker. And I figure, well, I'll just paint it and then clean it up and then flip it. But then I start to like this thing. And keep in mind, I am doing a Ryzen build at the same time. And I'm having more fun doing this. So a quick little sand and some paint and a little scrubby dubby. And hopefully it looks just like it did in 2008. Or better. Now this could have been the end of a good restoration, but why stop here? I remembered I had that GTX 1050 that was in the server. Hmm. Empty PCIe slot? Let's check it out.
The GTX 1050 is just too much of a card for this system, and I already know that, but it's going to be fun anyway. Um, basically, the Athlon 2.5 gigahertz uh, is it is going to be under too much of a load. That's why you're going to see me put a bigger fan on the CPU because it's going to be set under such a load. It's going to not be able to complete its loop in a timely fashion to you know get back to the card. So bottlenecking, that's what it is. But hey, let's let's try it anyway. So I drilled a hole into the bottom of this case so I could put this 120 millimeter fan. And the only reason why I did that, I don't have another AMD uh, CPU cooler, so that's why I did it.
Sadly, in 2013, HP discontinued the compact line due to its marketability. Hmm, maybe they should have made it look a little better, like this one. Thanks, guys.